Okay, late night, and uh, still have some skip rolling in. You can see it's an upside down and dismantled Browning LD LTD. This is a 23 channel AM sideband mobile radio. Uh, nice little radios. Um, this is, huh, for once, <laughs> it's actually one of my radios. <laughs> I got I've got I literally have hundreds of radios of mine that I need to restore and this is going to be another one I'll get around to it someday I just never seem to have time uh, I'm uh just continuously doing customers radios in any case I got this I had to turn it on and try it um I bought it the customer said it didn't work or the seller said it didn't work um it actually does it's just the channel selector switch and the controls were so absolutely filthy that nothing was making contact. I mean, just going like this several times, you know, across a couple of the channels, brought reception and transmit back in, and then the volume, the, the, the squelch, actually everything, the RF gain control, the clarifier, everything was just nasty. So the, I cleaned all of it. That's the only thing I've done to it, and actually the cover will eventually it will go back on, on it shortly. It'll get stuck up on the shelf, and hopefully before the day, before I die, hopefully, you know, <laughs> within the next 50 years, I'll actually get to restore this, because it's actually in fairly nice shape. About the only thing I really need to do is re-gold plate the, uh, the knobs, but, which I can do. I've got my Pace uh, multi-process desoldering machine has a built-in supply for doing plating, so I've, you know, I've got the gold plate solution, so I'll re-gold plate the knobs. But other than that, uh, nice radio, it's clean, uh, does not look like anything has ever been done to this, with one exception. That's the first thing I always see in most radios, right here, and right here. I should not be able to stick this red tool in between here, because that's a cut diode, and that's a cut diode. That's the ALC circuit, so yes, this thing is an over-modulated splatter box at the moment. So, I've got it hooked up to the service master over here, which is attached to the scope. So, AM... Uh, actually, get on dummy load here. Audio. So yeah, it's a box car in full, and switch over to sideband. Audio. Yeah, it shouldn't be shouldn't be a big straight bar like that. Audio. 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 One two. One two. One two. That's what it should look like, and that's what the microphone held quite far away from my mouth to do that. So, yeah, if I just talk into the microphone at normal range, it is the, the sideband has to sound horrible in this thing. So, yeah, those diodes will get replaced. Other than that, basically it needs a cap job. I'll probably clean the relays, but uh, other than that, it looks like a nice little radio. I got it really cheap. Um, you know, I always keep my fingers crossed on anything crystal synthesized that I don't have to replace the crystals. Advantage, sideband radio, every crystal has a trimmer. So hopefully if they're out of tolerance, I can get them back in tolerance. If not, you know, I just have to order some custom crystals for it and replace them. But otherwise, um, now I might actually stick this one off to the side close to the bench and just force myself to actually... Christ, it's probably been over a year since I actually rebuilt one of my own radios. So maybe I'll make this the next one because I do like Brownings. These are nice radios. They have a push-pull audio output. Um good sounding radios if properly set up and not clipped <laughs> so look for a future installment on this one hopefully before I die I'll try to make this one uh, actually it'd probably be the first video I ever post of something that I actually restored for myself because I'm always working on customers radios I just never have time to work on my own stuff anymore I get all these beautiful and nice radios they get stuck on a shelf and that's where they live along with the other few hundred that you know future projects that I have so hopefully a future video to come shortly.